Welcome back guys to another Marvel Legends review. Today it is from the Cassie Lang Build A Figure Wave. A bath that I am definitely not gonna build because I wasn't a fan of her character in the Ant-Man Quantumania movie. Plus, I don't really collect MCU. I do collect some, not a load. But that's a whole other thing. So today, coming straight from the dictionary input of Obscure is Crossfire. Everybody's favorite mercenary something guy. Yeah, this guy is. I was gonna. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge. I don't have a huge amount of knowledge on this guy. I just know he's been in various criminal gangs, like the Hoods gang. There's been Masters of Evil, where he's been in there, and yeah, he's this kind of half cyborg assassin espionage type dude and when i saw him released in this wave announced for this wave i kind of i don't know i just kind of like the look of him so i think he'll work really really well on your shelf uh, along with all the other bad guys you can make your own like criminal underworld on your shelf so yeah guys let's check out the box of crossfire so let's look at the box for marvel's crossfire so as you can see the figure here looks really good in the render let's hope the final product is the same you see him here in the background, like the cool shot here from the comics. It does say Marvel, it does say warning, choking hazard, plastic free packaging. On the bottom or on the top, it says Marvel. On the side, you've got a list of all the other, a list of all the other build a figure parts that you need. Wasp, Kang the Conqueror, Ultron, Egghead and future Ant-Man, AKA the Black Ant. And on the back, you have a render of the figure here. He does come with a nice bit of accessories there. You've got a strap for the gun and extra hands and stuff. And he does come with Cassie's leg. So you've got a load of uh, legalese here. So yeah. And on the side, you've got that comic picture, which does look really, really nice. So yeah, let's get him out of the box. So here is Crossfire out of the box. And I do love that, that red, even though it's not that vibrant. It is really, really cool. And the red and white jumps, jumpsuit just jumps off the, the page or uh, the shelf as it is. Now this guy I think could be definitely subbed into your G.I. Joe classified series lines as well. He's got the cool rifle. He's got the cool eye thing as well. Of course this guy is half cyborg, but on, a, on the, it was part of your legends collection. He does really stand out with the red and the white. Arsenal colors, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm very, fairly pleased with him. It does come with a cool rifle and some blast effects and stuff, which we'll get into in a sec. I don't like those black holes on the back for a backpack when he doesn't actually have one. So Hasbro needs to do something about that body. But other than that, not too bad. Let's get him down and have a proper look. So here we have Crossfire down off the swing of a jig. And as you saw, as he turned around there, he's a really, really nice figure. So let's start to go into the details a little bit. He does arrive with the left foot for the Cassie Builder figure from Ant-Man Quantumania. Again, I'm not gonna be collecting this bath, so I probably will put this part and the other one I have up for grabs, up for sale, whatever. So yeah, I won't be needing this one. As for accessories, he does come with two spare punching hands, one for each side. And he does come with this nice blast effect for his gun. You can see there. So let's get into his gun. Let's disarm him for a moment. So he's on the floor. So this is a nice kind of snipery rifle thing. Sniper rifle. It does have a smoke effect on the edge on the edge as well. You just want to see that there. It's quite nice. And the gun itself comes with a separate like white thing to put it over his shoulder or whatever and it just clips in at the back here it's quite a nice touch for what could have been a quite boring weapon but uh, i really really like it it's very cool it could be weathered a bit more i suppose it's just all done in black plastic so that's all the kind of accessories he comes with let's get on with the figure itself now i think this i could be wrong this could be on the sunfire body if i'm he doesn't have butterfly swivels, which are annoying, I know, and he does have pins in both the legs and arms, so very low budget figure this guy is, but he, he is nice, it's, 
I would rather obviously they did more like characters like Black Widow on the more articulated bodies. Ideal world, none of these, none of these uh, characters should be made on these old bodies anymore. And I'm very disappointed that they still do. Because some of them just don't come out well. There's like paint spots and stuff like that. I don't know. Is it the mold of the figure that causes the problem or what? But uh, yeah, just sometimes you get like little dirt, bits of dirt paint on it like that. And some, some of it kind of spills. And again, the holes on the back, no need for those. He doesn't have anything to plug into him. But uh, as you can see, face sculpt wise, he is quite nice. He's got the whole like cybernetic eye thing there. And he does look like a quite angry lead. Nice stern face. Face sculpt is excellent, has to be said. The, the the outfit is pretty cool. This is like all one piece. It moves, but not so much that it annoys you. And yeah, fairly standard Denmark colors. Uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite plain, but it works because this is exactly what he looks like. So they didn't really need to do anything spectacular. Articulation wise, head goes up. Gets a good look up. He does get some wiggy wiggy wig wiggle. Does do the whole around. Arms do go up. You can get a T pose. You can get a bicep swivel. A double jointed elbow. Which is pretty good. Wrists do rotate. And you get hands in and out. He does have articulation at the ab crunch. He does have bicep swivel. Legs go this far out. And this far up. Not quite a split. He does have tie swivels on both sides. He can almost kick his own butt. He does have brute swivels and ankle rockers that also go up and down. So pretty standard articulation from about three years ago, but it does work. So unfortunately you can't get butterfly joints on this guy because I think they would really work on him and give a lot to the figure. Height wise, I think he's about like six, six or so inches. Here he is next to the modular Iron Man. So just a bit smaller than that. So a good height on him anyway. Again, this is a very, very niche character and they have treated him that way by putting in minimal effort, but still it kind of works. So for me, I will give it a six and that's because the extra accessories he comes with, comes with the cool guns, the cool effects, which you'd use on other characters if you're not into this guy. And I don't think there's a big amount of Crossfire fans out there, but if there is, you've got this guy now and I don't know, it seems like a wave that did the MCU figures and they did some comic figures and it just threw this guy in there. And yeah, so make of that what you will. Anyway, I'm happy enough to get him. I do love these niche characters and it's cool to have another like Hitman, Assassin, Mercenary, whatever. And you could even put him in your group pictures and stuff if you want to. So yeah, I give this guy a six. I uh, hope you'll subscribe guys. I hope you liked the review. And if not, sorry, I couldn't help you. And uh, tell me what I did wrong. And yeah, so we'll see you on the next one, guys. Hopefully, have a great day and see you soon. Bye.